Hello, and welcome to our Soch 808 Supermarket Tour. For this assignment, we decided to go to the Petro, located at 89 Gould Street. This is because of its closeness to campus, along with its Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday 10% discounts, causing many Ryerson students, especially those on residence, to shop there for their groceries. We chose the produce aisle for our investigation, knowing that no matter the aisle, our expectations would be drastically changed. As the produce aisle has the supposedly freshest product in the store, it would be the perfect aisle for investigation. It was also the perfect aisle as although not everyone eats meat, dairy, or sugary snacks, almost everyone eats vegetables. This is also why the first section of Metro, along with most supermarkets, is the produce section. All of our group members believed that the produce was the freshest aisle in the store, however, upon reading the supermarket tour, our opinions were changed. One of the things that surprised us the most was how the most bought fruits and vegetables are often the most contaminated. A fruit as favored as the apple is one of the most contaminated foods as seen in this table from the supermarket tour. Those perfect looking apples that you see at your supermarket have actually been coated in numerous pesticides and polished to give it a fresh and shiny appearance. Another thing that caught our attention was the 2400 kilometers the average mule travels, which is unbelievable, with this length requiring 6,200 tons of pesticides worldwide to keep the produce looking so fresh. The supermarket tour also mentioned the amount of oil that would be consumed with the fuel needed to transport these foods. This fact and its environmental impact had never crossed our minds. When it comes to eating fruits and vegetables, you don't really think they have a large impact on global pollution, but it does, a huge one. I have worked six years at a no fruits in the produce department and never realized how contaminated the foods were. Whenever product came in, it looked so fresh and clean that it gave off the impression of being untampered with. But after reading the supermarket tour, I realized the better a fruit or vegetable looks, the more likely it is that it is contaminated. Fruits and vegetables don't naturally look so perfect. Just like us humans, they have their imperfections too. What bothered us the most about the produce was how much pesticides were used to keep it fresh. Pesticides have been linked to numerous illnesses and have negative long-term effects on a person's immune system. This is especially true for children as pesticides have a much greater impact on their still growing bodies. Pesticides also have a huge environmental impact. They kill numerous insects and microorganisms, even those beneficial to fruit and vegetable plants. Pesticides have also been responsible for the deaths of many birds. Furthermore, pesticides also pollute the air, soil, and water system. One way to avoid contaminated produce is to eat organic. These certified and regulated produce items are grown naturally. Operations such as engineered seed, synthetic pesticides, artificial fertilizers, and synthetic growth regulators are banned. Furthermore, a product must have at least 95% organic content to be advertised as fully organic. We have decided that contaminated produce is a really scary problem. We will change our habits by trying to purchase the organic version of produce from the most contaminated list. Also, we have decided that it would be the safest to freshly grow our own produce where possible. This will help reduce the amount of contaminated produce we ingest and hopefully lead to healthier lives. And now, we will be asking some quick questions, so I hope you are listening. For our first question, how far does the average meal travel? A. 80 kilometers B. 1100 kilometers C. 5000 kilometers Or D. 2400 kilometers The answer is D. 2400 kilometers. As mentioned, the average meal travels a large distance to get to your table. This also requires large amounts of pesticides to keep food fresh, along with all the fossil fuels used to transport. This has a huge effect on both people's health and the environment. For our second question, which one of these fruits is the most contaminated? A. Pineapples B. Bananas C. Apples or D. Grapes The answer is C, apples. 
Apples have actually been coated in numerous pesticides and have been waxed to give it a fresh and shiny appearance. Although it is one of the most popular fruits, it is also one of the most contaminated, as seen in the table shown previously. This table was taken from the supermarket tour. For our third and final question, what percentage of organic content must a product be to be advertised as fully organic? A. 10% B. 20% C. 95% or D. 110% The answer is C, 95%. According to the supermarket tour, only products that have at least 95% organic content are allowed to be advertised as organic. Products with less than 95% organic content, but over 70%, must indicate the percentage of the ingredients that are organic. That is all, and thank you for listening to our Soch 808 Supermarket Tour.